What's up guys, just wanted to shoot a quick video about this last weekend's trip to MCM Birmingham and more importantly the Splatoon 2 UK Championships. Um, the idea originally was just to go to Comic Con anyway um, and then we were having an hour and about going but with the announcement of Splatoon 2 Finals being there I really wanted to go along to that because I've really got into that game. I'm not very good like you might have heard in my last video but I do enjoy it. Um, it was a pretty epic event that Nintendo put on for it really. They basically had a little mini arena built um, for fans to watch. Had the teams up on stage playing. Massive, probably, I don't know, 200 inches if we're going by TV measurements. Massive screen uh, showing the game footage off. They had live commentators there. You can watch it all on YouTube, you know, the whole um, Saturday and Sunday events. We went just for the Sunday, so it was just the sort of semi-finals and the finals that we, we saw. Uh, it would have probably been a bit overkill to watch everything. Um, I'm still new to playing the ranked battle mode, so the rules are a little bit over my head still on some of the, some of the modes. So there was a lot of people responding to stuff in the crowd that was good and I was kind of unaware of it. The, the game is so fast paced. Um, I went with my good friend Phil Vong and Tugboat250 came along as well and he hasn't really played Splatoon before but uh, Phil's um, you know, quite a high, high level player so he was really appreciating everything that was going on. Um, so yeah, it was my, my first esports experience and that was kind of a big thing in itself. Um, you know, because I don't think I'd ever be attending something like that in my life because you know I could never play a game competitively. I haven't got the, uh, the well, the skill for one, but the sure, sure amount of time and patience and energy you can put into a single game. And you know, third-person shooters really aren't my um, aren't my specialty at all. I've never really been a fan of your Call of Duties and, and whatnot of uh, of the world. So, you know, for Splatoon to hook me in, you know, as a 34-year-old guy. Um, is, is pretty cool and that's just a Nintendo way really isn't it let's be fair um, but yeah it was it was epic man I'll, I'll show you a few, a few clips of, um, of what went down there was uh, in the final it was Team Mako who were the reigning UK champs against Team 4D um, Mako took a 2-0 lead so then Team 4D you know they had the crowd behind them because they had their little duck mascot which was more over than, uh, than the actual teams were but um, uh, yeah Team 4D were fighting back in the third third match because it was um, it was sort of a best of five series but I think you needed to win by two clear games so obviously with Team Mako already being 2 nil up in, in the rounds if they were going to win this third match um, then that would have been it so third match was going down with a lot of people behind Team 4D because they obviously wanted to see a match of it so I'll show you a little clip of uh, the end of the third round here So yeah, the hype was real for Team 4D to be able to pull this out of the bag um, after that, that uh, third round um, um, result. Um, but unfortunately for them, Team Mako ended up winning the final round. Um, but you know, they got a, they got a good good uh, applause for it anyway. And and you can see from the video how uh, my friend Phil was so so into it. It was it was a cool atmosphere. You know, the whole esports thing it was over my head really before. You know, I've always seen it as you know, the fighting games would have a big following, but I didn't realise there was such a big thing for all these other series of games. And it's good for to see a Nintendo franchise get that sort of love. Um, and especially a relatively new IP for them as well, to get that sort of much of a, of a following, you know, all over the world now. Um, Nagam Nagami-san, the producer of the game, was at the event, um, and he was, you know, he did a little, little speech afterwards. He had his translator with him. Um, and you can see that he was happy to be there and, and it, you know, it must be great for him to be able to see his work be showcased that way and loved by so many people and played competitively by people. Um, we unfortunately missed out on meeting him because he was doing a signing at four o'clock and we thought we'd get there about quarter two and, and you know, it'd be fine. But the queue was huge and we got to the back of the queue and the guy um, was saying how 
we were too late, you know, we were just a few people too late. They, they, they had a max, they hit their limit and it was, that was disappointing, especially for Phil, because I know he really wanted to, to meet the guy and, you know, we would have got, we took out game cases to get signed and everything. So it was a real shame, but, um, you know, it was still cool to, to go to the event. As far as the actual um, Comic-Con goes, um, yeah, it was good. I mean, I know Tugboat had a proper look round. He got to meet Chris Barry from Red Dwarf, uh, Rimmer, um, who is a massive Red Dwarf fan, so it was cool for him to be able to, to get that autograph and get that photo. Um, we never went, well, I didn't go with the intention of buying anything, so this is not a pickups video whatsoever. The only thing I picked up was a free flag. Splatoon 2 World Championships, yeah, UK Championships flag. <laughs> they were just giving out, and I think they gave us visors as well, but I already had my costume on, as you can see from the pictures. Um, yeah, cosplay, that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it, oddly I was actually in line to uh, enter the cosplay competition, but I bailed on it because, obviously, my costume was very much just thrown together, and there were some, a lot of people who actually put a lot of effort in and it would have been quite embarrassing um, at my age to be going up on stage to do poses as they wanted you to do. So I was kind of, I just thought I'd, I'd shimmy away from, from entering that, although Phil was trying to egg me on, I was like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Um, there's a certain point in your life where you have to uh, admit your age with these things, so <laughs> I avoided that. But it was cool to dress up and, uh, in that, in any way and, and get it amongst the crowd there. And If you watch through the footage, actually, of the Nintendo, um, their YouTube channel put out, you'll uh, you'll see they cut to us quite a lot, we're actually on camera quite a lot, me and Phil in the crowd getting people hyped, starting duck chants and whatnot. So that was good. I've lost I lost the plot of where I was going here. We were talking about the rest of the Comic Con and came back to this platoon thing. Um, yeah, it was your standard fare. There was a lot less pop vinyls, uh, Funko Pops around, which is probably good, you know, I'm, I'm fine with you know the popularity of, of pop vinyls, but it, it was every other store that was selling them at some point and that, that was kind of taking over a little bit with the cons but um, it was a good range of stuff like I say we didn't go out to buy stuff but I know Phil picked up a minty fresh box copy of ISS Pro no just ISS on the Super Nintendo um, he got that for £7 I think that was a good deal you know for a box to uh, complete copy of any SNES game even be it a sports game um, that's a classic football game that's a, that's a good still playable to this day um, I think he also got a Sasha Banks um, figure as well which came part of a loot crate exclusive thing that he picked up so that was cool um but yeah just just wanted to sort of tell you show you a bit of the uh the tournament and um you know you can believe the hype with these things and it was cool to be part of the uh the, the show and um yeah nintendo went all out with it and yeah fair play to them that they've been supporting this game now for over a year and i know they're doing their last ever update for it soon but i still think there'll be some splat fests and yeah, we've got the tournament going into next year for the European Championships now, which is apparently being held in Paris. So I might tune into that because watching the tournaments made me want to branch out and play the other sort of game modes a bit more, get a little bit more competitive with the game. I've put quite a few hours into it now compared to, you know, as much as I can as a, as a sort of parenting gamer now. So, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get into it. And Phil was joking that next year we'd have to up our game, get a couple of friends and uh, enter a team into a tournament but um, one I don't know if they'll do another Splatoon 2 sort of yearly tournament after this year with, with you know with the game sort of run its course in that sense and two I haven't got the time to put that commitment in as we've said and I haven't got the Twitch controls anymore I'm not, not you know I'm worse at games now than I was 20 years ago um, I think that's probably pretty standard for most people that were you know into their mid 30s now it's like the the, I don't know if it's the reactions or something, or I'm just out of practice, but yeah, I, I find myself, I'm worse at most NES games, you know, than I, uh, a lot worse than I, than I was when I was a kid. Um, but that might be just um, my patience as well, you know. I, I used to try, you know, you want to complete a game when you're a kid. Now I'll die a few times and I'll, I'd get annoyed and just, you know, move on to something else. Too much to choose from now. Back then it was all, oh, I've got this game and I can't afford to buy another game for a few months, so I'm kind of stuck with this, so I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah. So yeah, we're off topic again. Anyway, yeah, MCM was good. wasn't too busy. Didn't really have to queue up for long at all with the uh, general entry tickets, which is really good because some, you know, a few years back we were going to the London ones and it was ridiculous queuing times. I mean, I get it; it's London and they're the biggest events, but this was, you know, it was in one of the big, big rooms. Um, plenty to see. Um, the, the guests weren't. I weren't too fussed about meeting the guests myself. 
Um, but yeah, it's good that well, Birmingham's less than an hour drive for us. You know, it's, it's this end of Birmingham for us. It's easy to get to, and I'll definitely be going again next year because it's it's cheap and it's an easy trip. So as long as it doesn't fall on the weekend of revival again, that's that's the issue. You can't you know can't do them both. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, really, honestly, give Splatoon a go. Man. It's such a such a fun game, so unique as well. And um, yeah, check out the. Uh, the finals on, on YouTube from the Nintendo channel. Um, definitely worth seeing what the fuss is all about, that's all I'm going to say. Cheers for watching guys, catch you later.